Comet is now home at the point 6, 7, but realizes he forgot something at school, which is at the point 8, 11. Because he is in a rush to get there before it closes, he is now willing to move diagonally, upright, in addition to being able to go up and right. How many ways can he reach his school? As we see, this is just recording him from going from his home to the school, so we don't really need all of this area here. The main area we have to focus on is this 2 by 4 grid. Now let's clarify what it means when it says he is now willing to move diagonally. By diagonally, it means that he's not also just going to go up and right anymore. He can travel across a grid just like that. So what we're missing here is all those lines. So I'm going to just draw them out. All right, so I have drawn all those extra diagonal paths out now. And now we have to just start writing the numbers like usual. Um, this is this. Now let's compare this problem to the problems we have encountered before. It's still in a grid, and we're still only moving up or down, up or to the right. But at the same time, we can we are adding more possible paths because we can also move diagonally. So this is still a geo. It, this is still on a geometric grid that we're moving on, but it's just not squares anymore. It's a series of smaller triangles. But still, we have multiple points, so all we have to do is write the number at each point. So this is our origin point. Now let's first focus on the sides. How many different ways are there to get to all of these points and all of these points? Still, it's going to be a 1. And now this is when we begin to add. What do we write for this first point here in the middle? Well, we can't just do 1 plus 1 equals 2, because there are now three different ways to get there, either directly going across or by first going up to the right or first going right to up. So there's actually three different ways. And now here for this point, we can't just add 3 and 1 anymore. We still have to worry about the possibility of going diagonally. So now we're actually adding three, three numbers together. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5. So right here, it would be 5. Now for this point, we're going to do 1 plus 1 plus 3, 5. And we're just going to, it's still the same thing. It's just that every, at every single point, we have to add up three different numbers. This becomes 7, 9. And now we have 5 plus 3 plus 5, giving us 13. 13 plus 7 plus 5, which is equal to 25. Now it's just a matter of being cautious and being careful and make, making sure you're not missing any numbers. And finally, we have 9 plus 25 plus 7 which gives us 41. So there are 41 different ways to get from his home to his school um, going up, right, or up, right, diagonally.